everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I am Dory. Uh, let me introduce myself. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found my channel. Uh, I am 48 years old, five foot four inches tall, and on September 12th of 2016, I had vertical sleeve gastric uh, weight loss surgery, and um, my highest rate weight, sorry, was 350 pounds. My day of surgery weight was 300.5 pounds, and today, I haven't weighed myself in a couple days, but I was like up to like 175. Uh, I was maintaining for a while in the 160s, between 166 and 169, and then Easter happened, and then my in-laws just came from North Carolina, and we had a wonderful visit, and so I ate, I didn't go like crazy, but things that I don't normally eat, so I know I have a lot of uh, puffiness and a lot of the retaining of water I did not drink a lot of water um, and things like that um, and also uh, a uh, update of my um, endometriosis uh, medical thing here um, I go next week uh, in about nine days, I am going for a consult uh, for the surgery itself. And the last time I left you guys off, I told you I'd follow up about my um, blood work. They pulled a CA-125, which is uh, something that they measure. Uh, I don't know if it's for all cancers. I think it is, but I just know what it is because uh, of a YouTuber named Cheyenne who... Uh, Unfortunately, last December lost her battle with ovarian cancer and I had watched her for like three years battle back and forth and I know she was always going to get her CA-125 levels checked and so mine came by, back low. They checked me for premenopausal, postmenopausal, the um, CA-125 and I don't know, a couple other things and it came back that I have a low risk of uh, them operating and finding cancer so that was very good to hear uh, and so I'm you know really really excited about that and um, so we'll see we'll see what's gonna happen um, you know come my consultation that is gonna really explain everything to me in the way of um, you know whether they can operate if they are gonna go in there will they do a hysterectomy and leave me with the one ovary Will they just go in there and remove the tissue or the scar tissue? Um, so I'm not really sure, but um, I'm happy just to go and be able to, um, you know, kind of find out and uh, go from there. So that's it for the health. Uh, as far as my update for weight, uh, let me also tell you, I'm so sorry that I'm driving. My kids, I have not put out a video because my children were on vacation last week. Yes, yes vacation even though they just got back to school in person they were on vacation so um, I had zero time and then this weekend my in-laws were here and we just had a great time they introduced us to a new um, board game like a tile game called uh, I think it's a uh, rummy cube and so they absolutely um, had a great time loved it they were able to see uh, my two grandchildren, their great grandchildren, and um, so that was really great. It was it was really a fun, fun, fun time. We hate when they leave. Uh, it was not a scheduled visit. They actually left uh, North Carolina, where they live, uh, to go to New York City because my brother-in-law had some things that he had to get done medically, and so of course that's her son. And my mother-in-law was going to definitely come, and uh, that's their son, I should say. Um, and so they were definitely coming to, um, you know, lend a hand with the family. And of course, there's two other brothers who are live uh, in New York City. And so, um, yeah, they were able to visit them. And then while they were here, they figured that they would come up and see us. We're about three hours uh, north of New York City. And yeah they came and uh, we had a wonderful time Saturday evening Sunday Monday I was just a, a terrific terrific time and uh, we went out to eat and um, 
my son and daughter-in-law and their baby came over and my daughter and her boyfriend and their baby came over and so we had like 10 people just having a grand old time on Sunday it was terrific so um, so they left yesterday after the kids got out of school which was a treat because the kids thought that they were not gonna see them um, and said good, their goodbyes on Sunday night so when they got out of school on Monday uh, afternoon they got a surprise that Nana and Papa were still visiting um, so that was that and so as far as my weight I definitely feel it I feel it in my clothes I feel it in my legs a lot like I feel the um, weight like I feel the thickness and the, the I don't know dense weight I don't even know what to call it but I, I feel it I feel the thickness um, I don't feel good when I move I also got this sciatica that happened on my right side I'm not really sure why that happened or if it has to do with you know putting on five or six pounds which uh, I know can can you know easily be taken off because um, it's not like you know food it's not like I just ate 5,000 calories um, every day or whatever so that is not a um, yeah that's not a uh, something I'm worried about uh, but I am getting back to ladies texting in front of me I had to honk the horn because we're sitting at a green light so in any event um, you know so it's not like I'm worried about it I just have to get back to uh, the basics and get back to um, just really what I know to do the no snacking the smaller portions I'm actually on my way to Trader Joe's um, possibly Whole Foods too while I'm out there um, and I'm just gonna stock up on the things that I know help me to get to my goals and uh, that's what we're gonna do and so um, I wanted to let you guys know also that um, this guy went through red light too. Also that, um, sorry, I'm so distracted because people are driving like crazy maniacs. I mean, it's Monday morning at 8.30. Oh, sorry, Tuesday morning. Um, so anyhow, so, um, I'm just going to go there and just stock up on the things that I know help me. The not eating snacks and bars and things like that that I have been letting myself do more and I know that I really really should not so I'm not gonna do that um, and so yeah so that's my plan on another life update um, my move and um, all of that I will get you guys updated my landlord has decided to put the house oh, wonderful put the house up for put the house up on the market well people are like I don't even know guys I'm so sorry I'm so distracted but this guy on the side of me like drives for a transportation company and he's like sitting at the the green light and there's somebody right up to him and he's still sitting there like almost causing an accident but anyways I'm so sorry um, so my landlord came to us I knew that he was thinking of selling uh, a couple years ago yeah he, he had asked us if we were interested in purchasing the property it has my side it's a duplex and it has my side which has four bedrooms and two full baths and the other side I believe has two bedrooms and one and a half baths and both of us uh, as the tenants have been there for a long time I've been there for 11 years and the lady next door has been there a total probably almost 20 years because she was on my side for many years and then moved to the smaller side and she's been there longer than I have this time so uh, she's probably been there about 20 years I've been there for 11 um, and the rent is super cheap because he just he's a nice guy he's an older man he doesn't really need the money him and his wife and so they don't charge a lot and so I only pay and it just went up 25 bucks but since I've been there 11 years it's only gone up um, $75 total in 11 years and we only pay a thousand seventy five bucks so when we moved in it was a thousand bucks it could have been 950 um, but I think it was a thousand when we moved and over 11 years he's only charged $25 every few years uh, upcharge or whatever you call it and so um, we only pay a thousand seventy five dollars which 
he could get like sixteen to eighteen hundred dollars for that apartment per per uh, per month. And the lady next door, I believe, pays nine or nine fifty, and he could easily get thirteen or fourteen hundred for that apartment. And so um, I knew he was thinking of selling, but what ended up happening was he ended up. Um, recently having like an appraiser come and having um, a company come and and fix some things on the foundation some cracks outside on the foundation and uh, he um, ended up having a realtor come and so the other day he came over and he said you know he wanted to speak to us and so we figured it must be that he's selling which is weird because we have a really good relationship with him so I thought that he would just like it wouldn't be a big deal. He'd just say, hey, I'm thinking about selling probably within the next month or two because the market is definitely a seller's market. It's not a buyer's market. And so um, it was kind of disheartening to us um, that he would sell. And then now we have, a, we have our lease till December. So it was better that, you know, whoever comes in can't raise our rent. And so it gives us all this time to move um, wherever that may be. But we decided to buy it surprise um, I really did want to move down south but I think um, for our family and just to have an investment um, we are gonna purchase it so I mean that that's what it looks like as of now obviously we got to go through all the paperwork so we asked him yesterday he got a dumpster he rented a dumpster so that the lady next door and him and me and whatever that we can all get rid of whatever we don't want anymore old chairs old you know whatever and so I'm super super excited because I donate a lot of things but there's some things you know blankets maybe that have a couple of rips I don't want to donate and fire extinguishers that you know the, the they'll take but the city trash won't take and you know fire extinguishers that are empty or expired or whatever so I can get rid of those and like this chest I have and this little chair that has rips in it or whatever and so I'm super excited to get rid of a lot of junk. And so basically we um, are talking to the mortgage lender today and we have our down payment. Um, I think they need, I don't know, down payment closing cost is probably gonna be about, I don't know, 15, 16,000. So we have that thankfully. Um, and so basically it's just a matter of getting approval and luckily I have been working, I know you guys know this from previous videos, but I have been working on becoming debt free, which we are. We have no debts. I just paid off this truck. Um, we have no credit card debt. We have um, credit cards we leave open so it can build our credit score. So my credit score is almost at 750, which guys, I was like at probably 300 and something like in my teens and 20s and did totally bad, bad financial decisions. And so I took Dave Ramsey's class, uh, Financial Peace University, and that changed everything. And so we paid off everything. And so I have like, I wanna say I have five credit cards maybe? Let's see, one, two, three, four, four or five, no, four maybe. But anyways, I have like, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars that, you know, they look to an income date income to debt ratio um, which is really good for my husband and I he also has um, the last thing he had under his name that we paid off was this truck and so his credit score is about the same as mine and so whatever that's nor here nor there I just wanted to share that this is uh, as much as I don't want to stay so I'm um, we did like pros and cons and so I don't really want to stay there uh, I don't like the apartment I, I mean let me tell you for the price I love the apartment but for as old as it is and for how much work we're gonna put into it over the years I don't really want it I really just wanted to go down south I really did want to go to um, a different state down south have a little bit more southern hospitality I live in Massachusetts not that people are mean but you can get to certain areas and they are pretty mean um, and I'm sure I could find that down south as well, but um, I really, really, really had my house, my heart set on, you know, doing the whole finding a house and, 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 you know, getting the specific things we want. And I wanted a finished basement and the current home we have, it has like a dirt floor basement and it's terrible, terrible, terrible. 
but the pros outweigh that because it's not like we're stuck here. We're not getting a type of a loan that makes you have to live on the property for a certain amount of time. And we're not selling it. We want it as an investment for our future and the future of our children. We have four little ones at home and we just really want to, to do something that's gonna help with, with our future. And so our plan is to live where we are. Uh, we could never move to the next side with you know, six of us fitting into a two bedroom, it just wouldn't work. I mean, we could make it work if it was like we had to do it, but we're not gonna. And so our plan is to buy the property, buy, buy it. It's, it's got a huge property, plus it has a two car garage in the back. So the garage would be like a bonus. Like we'd never even step foot in that garage, but it's, it's there, it's gonna be there. So, and the garage is in amazing condition. So our plan is to buy the, buy the house. I don't know if the lady next door has a lease through the end of the year, but if she doesn't, we're gonna raise the rent and we're gonna go up to what's comparable in the area, which is about 13 to 1400, but we're probably gonna do about 1250 to 1300. Uh, a friend of ours uh, from church, a bunch of them have real estate, but one in particular, he's an amazing guy and he, uh, you know, is helping us to, to kind of transition to now being landlords and business. So we gotta treat everything as business. No, you're my friend and I'll give you a break because that's gonna, just gonna put us into debt and we're not going into debt. I'm not using my credit cards, we're not using nothing. We're using cash, 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 except of course for the loan, the, the mortgage. So, um, so we are going to um, raise her rent to about 1300 and then we'll take out the mortgage and we'll use that to pay toward the mortgage now the mortgage payment is probably going to be about eighteen hundred dollars is my guess um so we're going to pay about 500 bucks a month for rent but we're going to bank the rest that we would normally be paying and then just our normal banking things that we've been doing in the savings and you know little by little we will go ahead and you know fix things and do things and the the main things that we have to do is we want a fenced in yard because of the dogs uh, I did get a new dog if you guys didn't know um, we got a new little puppy and he is amazing uh, the dogs get along great but we need a fenced in yard and I just want to put in new flooring in our kitchen we have flooring that's like holes in it linoleum old old cheap squares and it doesn't wash good it's white it's always dirty or at least it looks dirty um, so I want to put in a floor. I want to get painting done. I want to put up the fence um, and little things like that. Not that we are going to do that right away, but um, but those are things on the list. I also want to um, be able to get a look at her house on that side to see what exactly it needs. Um, I know that they don't they haven't really been doing a bunch of stuff. I know that her hot water tank was just replaced and I know he's replacing tiles and the toilet was replaced. I know our upstairs toilet will need to be replaced at some point um, in the near future. So that's the, the deal. So our plan would be to do all that and in about a year or two, which I even hate to say two, um, we're gonna move into another house and rent out our side um, for about between 16 and 1800 because that is what's comparable in this area. Um, I mean, there's people who are getting 1600, 1800 for two bedrooms, one bathroom. So that's crazy. There's four bedrooms on our side, four bedrooms and two full baths and the laundry rooms on the first floor, which, which I do love. I do love I can't I have to be honest I, I haven't you know I haven't lived there and thought oh this is horrible but the other the other pro is that we live here for the next couple of years while the housing bubble pops and um, and we get a, a second house for us um, at a cheaper rate and it'll give my husband a chance to continue in his career path in the military. And on that note, guys, please, please, please say a prayer for my husband. He is 
interviewing for the fifth time. It might even be a sixth time, actually. Is it the sixth time? I don't even know. I've lost count for the same job. He just, he is a, a, a temporary technician. He's going to be going AGR, which is Active Guard Reserve. He's in the um, Air National Guard. But um, it'll be going from civilian to the Air Force side. So pay will be a tad bit smaller, which is crazy to think. But, um, but it'll work out. I mean, it'll work out. It'll be fine. So he is doing that. And then um, this permanent position, which he's applied for so many times and got beat out every time, um, has come up again and there's two positions and as far as we know there's only two people who are eligible to get one and it's one of them's my husband so please pray oh my goodness he will be his three-year anniversary is coming up next month so he'll get his first payout bonus that um, he will get uh, hopefully it's right around his date May the middle of May is his uh, three years and he'll get his first bonus sign-on bonus um, and then he should be able to interview for the job and hopefully gets the permanent position because that really will help just alleviate a lot of stress because being temporary, they can say, listen, you can be a part-time guardsman and go get a different civilian job, which would not be good for us. So anyhow, so please pray for him. Um, I know it alleviate a lot of stress as the breadwinner and husband and the family. Um, he has a lot of pressure and so um, yeah hopefully that will work and what else I think that's it this video is running long but I wanted to tell you guys about the house decision now as with everything we pray a lot we're very very spiritual spiritually led people we pray God closes doors and opens doors so as with anything um, if God says no nah, you don't need to stay in that house. There's going to be some bad things happening in the future. This is going to break down. That's going to break down. You don't need to be there. And we can't get the loan. Then we have until December to buy a house and move out. Um, because I know, just like I just told you, that the new landlord, whoever that may be, is absolutely going to um, raise our rent. Because that they, there's no way that they would ever do that for an investment. Um, so anyhow, so that's that. And one other thing is we're gonna get chickens, 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 chickens. We've always wanted chickens, but we always say, well, when we own our own place, maybe we'll get a beehive. We want one of those beehives in the back. We have great property for it. Um, and so anyway, so, so that's the news. Please keep in your prayers, your thoughts. Um, yeah, especially the job for my husband, the move, uh, whether we buy this house, please let it be a smooth transition with the money. And I pray that um, that that it's just not going to be this whole big thing where we have to have um, so much money that we don't have down or the lady made a mistake on calculations or something. But yeah, so if you could do that for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. And again, I'm so sorry that I was distracted and that I'm going around in circles here and, uh, and driving. Um, but I will talk to you guys soon.